Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Blessing of Sue with Octavia. And in this video, we're going to be learning how to make this beautiful um, A-line dress with a pleated detail and the hem keyhole neckline with a band. Okay, so if this is your first time of coming across us on this space, kindly hit the subscribe button, like, comment and share and we'll delve right into the video. So, we used two yards of Ankara fabric for this dress. That was depending on the client's measurement. Then, um, first thing I did was to fold the fabric into two, get my shoulder measurement, my armhole measurement, like so. Did a one inch slant at the shoulder part. That's get your shoulder slope. Okay, so I now started um, getting my vertical measurement. That's my shoulder to my bust, on the bust your waistline, hip, and the length of the dress without the pleat. The length of the dress without the pleat. Okay, so if your dress, your full length of dress is 14 and the pleat is going to be 10, which means the upper part of the dress is going to be 30. Okay, so when you've drawn out all your lines, I do my round body measurement plus ease because the dress is not a fitted dress plus ease and allowance. So I include the ease at all points of the measurement, same thing I did at my waist point, round waist measurement, ease and allowance. I do the same thing at the hip, round hip measurement, ease and allowance. Okay, so even though the dress has a zipper at the back, but because it's a shift dress, you need a bit of easiness all around the dress. So I connect the lines together like so. neckline i came down by this is the front part by the way i came down by um two and a half inch for the depth and for the width i used um three inches okay so for the keyhole i also came down by five inches just like that Now for the neckline, I also came in by two and a half inches and connected it to my armhole. Okay, so it kind of looks like an altar neck kind of sleeve, just like that. So I cut that part out and I trace out all my mark. I cut out all my markings like so, and use the front piece to cut out the back piece. Cutting out the back, I mentioned earlier that this dress had a zipper allowance, so I I left out one inch for my zipper, then placed my front block on the black back block, leaving out 1.5 inch for the neckline of the back. Every other thing remains the same. So this is me cutting out the outline of the front. <laughs> Open up the zipper allowance at the back like so. So you can now join, you can now take it to the machine and start sewing. So the next thing I did, this dress is in line, but what I did was I created a fitting that covers up for the armhole and the neckline. Okay, so the size of my fitting got up to my up to my bust line because I didn't want to line the dress and I also did not want to use a bias. Or anything to pipe the open and the neckline and the armhole so I created a facing for it so my facing stopped at um, 10 inches from the shoulder which is the bust line so this is what it looks like when you're done now you do the same thing for the back you do the same thing for the back and you sew <music> Now 
interesting and fabric. This is what you have. You do you sew all of them together, give it a good press, and I'm very sure you love the outcome. <laughs> Um, front and back piece with the facing. This is what it looks like. I'm sure you can see how neat it is. Okay, I'm sure you can see how very neat it is. So the next thing you are going to do is to join the front block and the back block together. Then join the shoulder to shoulder. Then the upper part of our dress is ready. <laughs> time to incorporate the pleats at the bottom part into into this dress so this, like i said we used two yards for this dress so i joined the actually this pleated but actually has a joining but it's not an issue so i start pleating this um box pleats i'm making like that so you pleat all the way from start to finish then you attach it on your dress <laughs> Please, this is what it looks like. It's now time for us to incorporate our band, which is the last thing we are going to do on this dress. Okay, so you, my band is already cut out at 1.5 inch with interfacing. It's interface to so give it a very firm, firm feel. So from the set, from the center of the dress, I pin it all the way to the back. Same thing on the other side, and we are done. Voila! I hope you try this out and. Uh, we'd love to see your outcome. If there are any topics you would want us to treat in this on this channel, kindly leave me a comment in the comment section and I will indulge you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video.